There was no other game more important than this to win. I mean, seriously, this was such a huge game for the A's, and they rose to the occasion. It was on national television, this game. The A's played the Yankees in the series finale, and the A's won 3-1, to one. and this was huge. And want to know why? This was a great day for baseball for the A's. You think about it. The Red Sox lost to the Indians. The uh, Rangers absolutely trounced the Astros, which was huge. And we beat the Yankees. So everyone we needed to lose lost. And so that's huge for us. And then we split this series. We played horribly in the first two. And we came back and split. And Paul Blackburn, of all people, was on the mound. And he did good. I mean, Paul Blackburn, as a backstory, was a pitcher for the A's that I haven't really heard his name in at least two years. He's been with the organization for a while. And he's pretty good. I mean, he pitched only five innings, five hits allowed, no earned runs, one strikeout. But the A's relied on their bullpen. The bullpen did good. Um, the only run scored by the Yankees was unearned. I'll get to that in a moment. Yusmero Petit came in after him, followed by Diekman, Guerra, and Chafin. So that was good. I think Chafin, you know, is emerging as a potential closer candidate with Lou Trevino's mishaps in the recent games. But yeah, three to one was the final. Tony Kemp clutched up. So yeah, anyways, guys, let's get into this. Game was in Oakland. I actually originally had tickets to this game. I was going to go, but then I found out the Raiders were playing the Niners. And so I, so I wanted to go to that instead because it's my only opportunity to see them. I know, I know that it would probably would have been smarter to go to this just considering what happened in that Raiders game. But oh well. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into this. Paul Blackburn had a really good, um, you know, kind of first inning when it came down to things because uh, the Yankees were in kind of striking distance with runners in first and second. He um, made them hit into a double play, which was good. Um, like I said, game was on national television. You don't see that too much for the A's, which is good to see. Mark Canna um, in the first inning got an RB or in, um, yeah, in, uh, in the fourth inning, um, correction, got an RBI uh, double play, which isn't the most conventional when you have the bases loaded, but I'll take it. One nothing A's at this point. Um, however, the Yankees, when Diekman was uh, pitching in the game, Diekman threw a wild pitch and uh, the uh, Rizzo reached on it. And so, yeah, the Yankees went up 1-0 um, at that point uh, eventually. Um, but yeah, this game was pretty close. But then Tony Kemp clutched up in the bottom of the eighth inning, hitting a go-ahead two-run homer, and the A's went up 3-1. Tony Kemp is just, look, he might not be the best hitter on the team, but he brings so much character to character to the team and when he has stuff like moments like this you gotta love the guy i love tony kemp he's great um and and, and then andrew chafin got out in the um got them out in the ninth easily and the a's took the win so huge considering our schedule going forward and the way the series started we're we're getting close i i have faith in the team i don't want to say anything because the a's are inconsistent but right now i i just i'm hoping for the best i hope we can continue this we're going to play the Tigers for a three-game series. We previously swept the Tigers. That's when we had that big win streak back earlier this year. Um, so we're playing them, followed by the Blue Jays, and then the White Sox. The White Sox, obviously, we lost badly to. Um, and, but that's a little bit down the road. That's going to be, you know, next week. So put that out of our way. But I'm really happy with the performance. The Yankees, obviously, are a contending team. They came off a 13-game win streak. Last night, we snapped it. Today, we... You know, we extended their losing streak to two. Uh, we're still uh, five and a half back of the Astros, which isn't impossible to come back from, but it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for sure. Um, but you know, if we keep winning, I I'm happy that we'll maybe be able to do it. The Mariners are two back of us, which I'm confident we can hold that. But yeah, I'm happy with the victory. Three to one was the final. Like I said, Tony Kemp deserves a hundred percent player of the game. I mean, he pretty much won it for us. I, I think the game could have gone either way if Kemp doesn't hit that homer because the Yankees can't get them out, really. I mean, they're, seems all, like always hitting clutch hit home runs, hits. And so him doing that saved us the game and Chafin, great outing from him just to finish it. And Blackburn, got to give credit to Blackburn, did good as well. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts next game against the Tigers and I'll see you guys later. Go A's.